सो हे गाइज हर शेयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलोब फाइनली द स्टूडियो टोर इज हेयर इट्स हैपनिंग एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू शो यू गाइज द स्पेस हाउ इट लुक्स एंड लाइक वेयर इज वॉट वेयर इज वॉट वॉट लाइक वॉट्स प्लेस्ड वेयर एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स वॉट आई यूज एंड हाउ द स्टूडियो लुक्स एंड हाउ आई शूट माई वीडियोज हेयर सो ऑल दैट वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो सो फाइनली द स्टूडियो टोर इज हेयर एंड आई होप दैट यू लाइक द स्टूडियो Now, first up, let's start with the kitchen area, which is right over here. Let me just show you. Just my camera a little bit. Here we go. So this is the kitchen area right behind me. And oh, by the way, I decided to do this video in a vlog style because that's the best way I can show you my studio. In a vlog style, there is a personal connect, and you can you know have a look at the studio from my perspective, and it's more natural. That's why this video will be in a vlog style. So yeah this is the kitchen area right behind me so a fun fact this studio like this room was actually a kitchen and then i converted it into my studio so i kept the kitchen part because if i ever want to have a cup of coffee or green tea or chai or whatever i can do that because there is a kitchen area right over here so there is nothing exciting over here just a few cups a coffee machine some coffee powder some chai and all those things some water bottles because that is very important and it's just a normal kitchen top with all the kitchen essentials now moving on here like right behind me uh, oh there i have my light which is the godox led p260c so i bought this light many years ago and i have been using it extensively so i only have one light which i use and it's an awesome light now right below that is my tripod so that is the e image tripod and the number is 4010a huh. that was a mouthful but anyway so that's my tripod that i use and i've made a video on that specifically so i'll make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below now with that out of the way let me show you the first background so here it is the first background is right behind me it's like a couple of shelves and earlier the plan was to have four hexagonal shelves but that did not work out in a good way that's why now we have square shelves so square shelves look really cool and i have some plants some gears you know some gimbals some tripods all over there because they look really good in the background of your videos and i wanted to have one dark wall in the studio because it adds a lot of contrast to your whole setup and that's why this wall behind me is gray and it looks really awesome fun fact i had it painted twice because it was not looking good the first time that's why i told them to change the color and now it looks really really good so yeah that's the gray wall behind me and the shelves and you might have seen that in my videos also i have a photo of all my college friends right over here so even that is cool it was gifted to me by one of my college friends on my birthday and i kept it over there because it looks really good because there are a lot of colors in that photo so yeah this is background number 1 and it looks really good background number 2 is right behind me that is this wooden wall so this wooden wall is a continuation of the wooden flooring so both of them are actually of the same material and even the behind of this door so if i close this door over here even that is of the same material so when the door is closed everything looks really uniform and i can shoot over here so i always wanted a wooden background because of peter mckinnon so peter mckinnon has a wall in his studio which is you know or had a studio had a wall in his studio where you know it was a wooden background you know dark wood but i always wanted light wood so here we go it's a light wood background and the plan is to add a hanging light from top to bottom so that while i'm shooting videos the background doesn't look empty so i'm going to do that pretty soon i'm not getting the perfect light that's why i haven't done it yet but when i get the perfect light i will do that i'm drinking mint tea by the way mint green tea it is awesome if you want to buy it i'll you know drop a link in the description box below hashtag not sponsored so that was a couple of background so right behind me like right behind the camera is the wooden background and right over here on the right side is the gray background with the shelves so those are the two main backgrounds because they look really good and they are very different from each other as well so if i am in the mood for a plain background i'll shoot here and if i want something funky and something really good i'll shoot here 
so yeah there are two main backgrounds in this studio but i can shoot literally wherever i want like there are a lot of angles to shoot over here and no matter where i shoot from everything looks really good because of the design of the studio so this studio has been designed by my friend ankita and she's done a very good job so a huge shout out to her and i'll make sure to drop a link to her instagram page in the description box below she has some awesome designs go follow her and if you ever have work for her then you know just dm her and i'm pretty sure she'll reply to you but yeah that was it with the backgrounds okay so now let's talk about the main thing in my studio and that is my desk right behind over here so this is the favorite part of my studio because this is where i work this is where the creativity comes along and this is where the videos are put together and exported and uploaded to youtube so this is the main attraction of my studio and i love working here it's a very good studio it has good lighting it has rgb lighting and you know i can set the mood whenever i want so after sunset i just put on the rgb lighting and i'm just you know quietly editing in peace no one is disturbing me there's an air conditioner as well so i'm not feeling hot and it's a very good setup so yeah this is the desk behind me and it's a very clean and minimalistic setup now fun fact i have had this desk for more than 2 years and it's been working really well for me and this desk matches the color of the wooden flooring and the background over here so it blends in perfectly with my studio so i absolutely love this desk it is called the cherry study table by urban ladder i'll make sure to drop a link to this and everything else that i mentioned in this video in the description box below now up until couple of months back i had a monitor and my macbook air on this desk but since then i have upgraded to an imac that's why it's just the imac and a couple of speakers and you know a keyboard the mouse and a plant behind so it's a very minimalistic setup now one more big part of the setup is this chair over here so this chair is the green soul gaming chair so i ordered it when i was making the studio itself and i got it for about 13000 rupees and it's a great chair now having a good chair is very important because whenever you are editing you will sit for a minimum of 4 to 5 hours and that would be very bad for your back that's why having a good chair which will protect your back is very important and that's why i invested in a good chair and i'm pretty happy about it so i love this chair i will be making a full review of this chair in the next couple of months because i want to use it extensively and then make a review about it so please stay tuned for that as well now apart from that what else is on this desk so as i mentioned there's this imac the speakers the speakers are the logitech z337 i've already made a video on my desk setup and nothing has changed particularly like instead of the macbook air it's just the new 2019 imac the 4k imac with a 6 core cpu so that's the setup and apart from that rest all is actually the same on my desk like i don't change my setup a lot because i like this setup it's clean it's minimalistic the cable management is very easy and you know it's a very good desk setup so if you want to watch that video i'll make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below it's a great video i highly recommend you to go ahead and watch it if you want to know all the details about my desk setup as far as other things in the studio go i use a lot of notebooks so here we go so notebooks like there are this couple of notebooks that i use in the background sometimes so uh, when i whenever i take flat lay shots Oh that reminds me so I take flat lay shots here like this is the table where I take flat lay shots so unboxings and reviews all of my videos have flat lay shots and those are shot right over here so I have a couple of backgrounds there couple of different colors couple of different cardboards I also have a marble background and it looks really good so yeah this is the table where i shoot my unboxings and there i have a couple of notebooks which i use like to you know set the frame and all those things and last what i use yeah my camera so i use the canon m50 as my main camera in fact it is being used right now to record this video as well and i also use the zoom h1n microphone which again is being used right now to record this video so yeah that's my audio setup and my video setup and the light i've already mentioned so those are the main three things that i use and even the tripod so i've mentioned that as well also if you are in pune and if you want to visit the studio you are most welcome just drop me an email on harsh@technode.com like a couple of days ago and then we'll set up a meeting and if you are a youtuber then that's great maybe we can collaborate in this studio itself so yeah that's been it thank you so much for tuning in 
एंड आई होप दैट यू एंजॉय माई नेम इज हर्ष पंजाबी एंड सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वन